It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. The kettle is about to boil. That means it's time for another noodle review. I go through phases on the channel. Sometimes I review kind of lots of different kind of chicken dishes or Iceland or noodles. And we, we seem to be in a little bit of a noodle phase on the channel at the moment. This is a Pot Noodle Fusion's Katsu Curry flavour, 100 grams, and it cost me one pound in B&M Bargains. So because they're in B&M Bargains, and because B&M Bargains tend to buy products that are, you know, maybe they've tried to launch this into... Tesco or Morrison's or Sainsbury's and it's not really worked and B&M come in a bit like home bargains they take all the stock they sell it cheaply in their stores so katsu curry pot noodle fusions this is definitely a take on a lot of the Asian noodles that have made their way to the UK over the last few years I'm going to fill this up to the line. I'm on my tiptoes. There we go. We're up to the line. So what you do, you fill it up to the line, which we've done. I always like to grab all of the noodles and move them up and down a bit just to get that water down below. So you put the lid back on. You wait for two minutes. After two minutes, then you add the little bit of sauce, which is um, squeeze a little extra. Oh, this is mango, mango sauce. So we're going to add that in two minutes time to the pot noodle, stir it around, leave it another two minutes and then get into these noodles. Little tip, if you make a pot noodle, Always get that fork round the bottom. When they say to stir it after two minutes, always get your, cor your fork right into the corners. That's where all the flavour kind of like gets, gets hidden. How many times have you eaten a pot noodle? You get to the bottom and the bottom bit the part of the pot noodle is really kind of like really strong with flavour. It's because you've not mixed the flavour in properly. Little tip for you. Back in two minutes. Back in four minutes, you don't want to see me add mango sauce to you. I'll be back when this is ready. Right, it's been four minutes. This katsu curry pot noodle is ready. We've added the mango sauce to it. So here we go. Then I'm going to get rid of the whole lid now of this. It's interesting because <clears throat> when you first put the hot water into a pot noodle you're like Phew, you know you can barely touch the sides of the pot noodle the plastic tub is like boiling hot but it quite quickly cools down now i like the fact that when you think about pot noodles years ago pot noodles always had a curry version and it was that kind of bland boring raisin like curry that we all know and love from the chip shop it was like a chip shop curry pot noodle i like the fact that there's all sorts of chinese japanese thai malaysian noodles now that you can buy in the british supermarkets and they've really pushed pot noodle up a level. Look at this Fusions, for example. Two star chilli rating. You're adding mango sauce. When do you add mango sauce to a pot noodle? The fact is, it's made pot noodle, the company that runs pot noodle, I don't know if it's Unilever, yeah, it's the Unilever. It's pushed them into a... Well, not a difficult position, but it's made them think and work and do things differently. And this is the result. 
a katsu curry pot noodle. Katsu curry, I think it's Japanese. So it's just regular pot noodles with a katsu curry sauce. There's bits of lumps and bumps of flavour. I've, I've tried my best to knock them out. But it seems like some of the flavour has been kind of congealed together. Mm. That flavour is of a... Mm. Blimmin' heck, it's hot. It should be mine, shouldn't it? It's still got a little bit of that cheap curry sauce from the chip shop taste to it. Like a British curry sauce taste. And if you look at it, it has that British chip shop curry sauce look to it, doesn't it? In fact, it's a bit disappointing. I was really hoping these, you know, like your Nissan noodles, your Chinese, your Japanese, your Malaysian noodles. I was hoping that they would almost kind of jerk pot noodle into reacting and doing something different what it's done is that it has made unilever pot noodle react and it's just made them change their branding slightly call it fusions add some mango sauce and make it slightly different to their regular curry pot noodle I think this is a wasted opportunity this is a, a wasted opportunity by pot noodle to grab back some of the market share that's been lost to, to some of these Asian noodle brands personally I think it's fantastic. Not the pot noodle, but I think it's fantastic that other countries' pot noodles have seen a massive gap in the British market. They can see that we love a noodle. They can see that we love a noodle all day long. And they've gone, do you know what? Try our noodles. Try our sober beef or our sober chicken or our samyang spicy noodles and, and, and make them really spicy and make them really different it was enough to make pot noodle take notice and take step and to look at the now booming noodle market but it was only enough to make them change their branding a little bit the actual noodles themselves it's all very tame. It's all very tame. It's all very boring. It's a rehashed, rebranded pot noodle curry flavour with some mango sauce. And I think it's such a shame. It's such a shame to say that. Because these could have been so much better. So, so much better. I mean, I'm not at the stage where I want to throw them away. I'll eat them. But there's a lot of people in the UK. Pardon me. Eating and talking. There's a lot of people in the UK that have fond, like... They get close to brands, don't they? 
there's a certain amount of people are like Cadbury's. There's a certain amount of people are like Galaxy, Mars. There's a certain amount of people that love pot noodle, and they'll they'll back pot noodle because it's what they know, and what they love. But it's lazy. For the people out there that try all of these different noodles out there, they'll probably see this as very lazy. And it's probably because they're owned by Unilever. Unilever will make washing powder, dishwashing tablets, anything really they'll 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 grab whatever they think is prof profitable and they'll make like an average kind of fist of it because they know they can spend millions of pounds on television adverts and millions of people will buy it and that's the problem that's the real kind of thing here is that they can probably advertise this unilever and sell millions of millions of packages of this but it's obviously it's obviously not worked on this occasion because, of course, I've picked this up in B&M Baggins where they probably wanted to sell it into Morrison's or Tesco's. It's quite poor. It's quite poor. It's a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.